Stephanie from Southern Boy Proud. And this is Ashley, and today we're going to show you one of the best ways that we have found to make a bait to catch channel catfish. Now we have caught several blue cats on this, and it's very easy to make. I'm going to show you first how to set up the hook for it. Now some of you have probably used this method before. We use it with a baiting tool, and we use hot dogs. Now I know that sometimes you can throw the hot dog off, which is why we use this method. This is a baiting tool. It's just a coat hanger that's been folded over, taped, and there is a notch sawed into it. You can buy these at a bait shop. You can buy these at a fishing shop. And some of you have probably used the regular snails with this. Well, I found that... We have found that if you use a regular snail, it will throw the hot dog off of the hook still. So what we do so, is we make our own. Yeah, best best it. yeah best to use a treble treble hook. Yes, we use a so treble hold, hook. So it holds it on better. You can use just about any size. Just make sure that it is not too big. No, and, not too small. You don't want and it too not small. Not too small. Yeah. And then we use some line. And you just tie the line to the treble hook. And I like to tie mine using a polymer knot. And then for the end, you'll want to make a loop. Action. And so you get your line. I guess about 18 inches long. And you get your hook. You want to leave enough to tie it. Were you, were you tying a polymer knot? No. Yeah. Always tie these with a polymer. So that's why I like to have the extra. And then for the other side, I just make a loop. I just sort of loop it over like twice. I call that a doctor's knot is what I call it. I'm not sure what you really call it. Well. But you need this so you can pull the line through the. And it's just like the, a snail. The wiener. The only difference is now you have a treble instead of a hook. And you're very less likely to throw your hot dog off. And so to bait this, you just take you a hot dog. Really doesn't matter which way you do it, but I always kind of like to. Just run through the middle. Put the butt end of the hot dog down onto the hook. Now you just. Uh, you just throw it through. Yeah, you throw it through. And you just tuck it into the bottom. And when they bite. They're hooked. Yeah, the more, yeah. I mean, sometimes they'll, they'll bite from the side of it, but... It'll go right in their yeah, mouth. Yeah, a lot of times they'll bite down and just, you know, you know the treble hook will just every hook time. them. Not every time. I've, I've lost a few, but... I say... 99% uh, of the time. 90, yeah, 98% of the time you'll hook them. So let's show you how to make the... Hot dog bait. The ingredients are vinegar, garlic, and we use garlic salt. You probably don't need the garlic salt, but gives a little extra stink for the catfish. They like that. Can never be too stinky for a catfish. Never. <laughs> so what I do is I usually take these hot dogs and you can cut them in half. If you want to use whole, you probably could. Sometimes we quarter them, but normally we just cut them in half. They don't seem like they, they hold on to the hook a lot better when they're cut in half. And if you want to use a whole one, of course, you'll have to use a lot more line. Good 
And then we just take a big gallon bag. I like the ones with the zippers because it makes it easier to get it in and out of. If I don't zip it the wrong way. <laughs> and we just put these in here. And we basically pickle these because we use the vinegar. And we leave them in the fridge overnight. You could probably leave them outside, but we find they stay a lot firmer if you yeah, they, them. A lot of people like to let them sit in the sun for two or three days. But but we, we like to leave them in a fridge because they seem to stay firmer. And you can add... And this is just like a pickle hot dog. You just cover with, them. With, with garlic. Which catfish love, love garlic. And we find to catch uh, more channel cats with this than we do with chicken liver. And you can be as stingy or as generous as you want with these. Put another, yeah, there you go. Put three, that's good. Right there. And then we'll that should, we add the That should stank it up enough. Garlic salt. And it's just like a garlic pickled. And they gonna... really love these. Now we have tried a couple other ones. We've used the jello ones. And yeah, the strawberry or, or cherry fl flavored jello, which yeah, didn't seem to work too good. The best ones they we've found the best. is the garlic, garlic and vinegar. We've even tried garlic and jello, and it just doesn't. And we even, yeah, we even tried garlic food. and uh, vegetable oil. Yes. And, and that didn't, it didn't seem to work as good as just a plain garlic just and mix vinegar. Up. And yeah, just put that in your fridge for about a day. <clears throat> Take them with you next time you go fishing. You're guaranteed to catch a bunch of catfish. Yeah, you'll catch some channel cats for sure. And we caught some some few blues, but mostly channel cats. Channel cats love these things. Happy fishing.